covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. The ocean is the planet's lifeblood, but it's being transformed by climate change. Every day, Darwin travels from the Pacific islands of Palau to fish on the northern reef. The reef is very important because fishing, that's our way of life, our culture. Before we used to fish on the reef, inside the reef. But now the corals die and there's not much fish on the reef. That's why we're heading to the, the deeper water, the blue water. If I cannot find the fish, then the family is not going to survive much in Palau. For years, Darwin's made his living around the coral reefs that form the heart of an underwater community. These corals are colonies of tiny animals, and they also host one in four of all marine species. But they're dying. Over half are gone already, the rest facing extinction on a scale that could lead to devastating changes for the ocean, the planet, and everyone on it. In Hawaii, a group of scientists dedicate their lives to saving corals. The cost of doing nothing is enormous because we could lose one of the most significant ecosystems on our planet. Oceans are dying, our reefs are dying. Sometimes you want to scream and shake people and be like, wake up and look and pay attention. They are pioneers using cutting edge technology and methods to help corals make a comeback. In the lab right now, we're doing some tests with the corals that, uh-oh. <laughs> in the lab right now, we're not allowed in. Five minutes. OK, five minutes. <laughs> Dr. Ruth Gates has been working to preserve corals for the last 26 years. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That set up over there. So we're measuring photosynthesis and respiration rates of the corals. In my first dive on the reef, I dropped my regulator out of my mouth. I was so awestruck by this underwater garden that was before me. Stunning, stunning architecture, so busy, so beautiful. Today, what we're looking at is a semblance of that past self. It looks like a battlefield. There's nobody home. It is devastating to watch the death of the system you love before your very eyes. 